First question is from The Last Flare. Is there any value in strength gain by working in many sets, but decreasing weight with each set to maintain form? No, just, no, this is a, a really, really easy way to lose all your muscles. <laughs> oh, bro, stop it. I used to do, I love doing Panic. this. Oh, this is, this is great. I actually, so I love this question because uh, I don't think we've addressed this and talked about this, or it's been a while since we have. Um, I, I, this is how I trained for a really long time. When I first like uh, became a trainer, like one of the things that I, I became very meticulous with my form, like the importance of form and technique that when I would do sets like this, uh, I think the old traditional way when I was a kid growing up was, you know, keep loading the bar more and more and more to see how much you can move. I went the opposite way when I got all my training certifications and started getting into training people and realized how important form and technique was. Mm -hmm. And so as sets would go on, I would decrease weight and just keep perfecting my form. If the weight was a little light, then I would just slow down the repetition. I actually think there uh, more people should do this, especially when you're really getting into weight training and trying to get the mechanics down. Yeah, I think there's there's so many different ways to manipulate uh, the sets um, as you're going through them. Of course, there's a pyramid, right, where you work up in the weight and then you work down in the weight. There's a, there's what they call reverse pyramid. Is, I mean, I, there's a, there's 101 different ways to manipulate your sets, and the benefit of doing this is it, it adds novelty. Uh, variation to your lifts, and it changes your focus. Um, mm -hmm. Always focusing on the same thing all the time is a great way to lead, the, you know, to, to go to, to plateau. It's a great way to cause potential injury. Uh, one of the best things you could do is, is change it up. Once your body stops responding to one way of training, then you try moving into a different way. And yeah. like Adam was saying with this, it's excellent because the focus is entirely on form. I mean, you're doing 10 reps, and the goal is – I'm doing, I don't know, let's just say I'm eight sets. I'm doing eight sets of deadlifts, 10 reps. I want all 10 reps of every single set to be perfect, yeah. which means by the time I get to the fourth and fifth set, I'm probably going to have to start to Not go. Not probably. You have to. Right. Who do you know that can do 10 perfect form on sets one and two and then sets five and six there? Right. Well, besides me, it's no. not to make <laughs> yeah. Stop. You can do that. <laughs> no, you see this with professional lifters, Olympic lifters. Like You see this because the sharpening their technique and form a lot of times will provide even more uh, opportunity for them to lift heavier weights. 100%. You know, and if they don't do that and they don't get the technique technique and master it, uh, you know, they're not going to achieve the potential that they could have otherwise. So this is just another way to, uh, you, you know, add a whole new set of, of tools in your toolbox. Yeah. There's even this, you can even try something like this where you pick a weight and let's say it's about 80 to 90% intensity. It means it's, it's, it's hard, but you're not going to failure. And you say, okay, I'm going to do uh, six reps of this exercise and you do six reps, pretty intense. And then you say to yourself, for the next five weeks, I'm only doing six reps of this exercise. Even if I feel stronger, I'm only doing six. At the end of the six weeks, I'm going to add weight. There's another technique like that where you get so good at the exercise, but by, that by the time it, you add weight, the weight you add is is quite significant. So again, there's so many different ways to do this, but this one that was just asked is, is, is one of my favorite ones for sure.